Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How is our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, let's start with Ben. What did I do this week? Uh, I went I went X1 on Tuesday. Um, that was fine. Just standard X1. Uh, then I went with X1 today. Except today, I was playing Infernoids. What spurred and this? I just wanted to. I always want to play Infernoids. Infernoids. It's, <laughs> just Infernoids. The, it's just a case of whether or not I can get the quads. Um, so, yeah, uh, win X1. Deck is, well, the build that I played was incredibly fragile, especially when, like, I was missing one of the main cards of the combo. You still do the combo, you just didn't have negates while you were doing it. Hence the reason why getting hit with a negate hurt so much. Um, but, yeah, uh, Horus, I, so I put the Horus package in, because I was like, makes sense. Uh, that Horus package did so much work. <laughs> so much work. From the bits of duels, because we pretty much sat next to each other the entire day today, from the bits I'd seen, you pretty much used the Horus engine to out any problem cards, and then Infernoids just to pick up the bits and pieces. Pretty much. Or it was a case of, like, uh, use the Infernoids to be like, no, stop it. And then you use the Horus to be like, boop, 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 boop. Uh... So yeah, very happy that I put the Horus Engine in that deck. Yeah. Originally, I was going to play Lair instead, like Lair of Darkness. Uh, uh, but then I was like, well, logically, I need to have as many face-up cards on the field as possible to resolve the whole like Snake Eyes engine. Uh, hence the reason why I was like, well, Horus. Because if I open MC, that's two face-up cards on the field. And that's all you need for full combo. Uh, also, if you open just King's Ark, you can just discard a card and then you get a second face-up. So, like, if you just open one of those six cards, it guarantees you two face-ups on the field. Uh, but, yeah, I didn't have Flame Bush, so I couldn't... Yeah, didn't have the, the full combo. Um, hopefully that stuff comes in the mail tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll play the deck again for a while. Mainly because... One and done? Uh, well, I just want something to kind of play in a stopgap between getting... Uh, the birds! Or car! Oh. Yeah. Flame Birds and beasts and the fire. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to... Look He's going to be a king. Between the fire kings and that. So, yeah. Here we are. Brack. Yeah. Um, I was informed I came second. Yes. Yes, you did. Cool. Uh, playing Chimera Horus, as I think I... Not last week. Week before. Yeah, that's right. Last week I was a Pokemon. <laughs> At least Pokemon regionals get there and play mats. True. They oh, yeah, haven't the stopped doing that yeah, yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I forgot that I had this place to myself. I don't know how you do that. I cherish every time that my brother's not home. I'm right, currently last week, last not home. Was a blur. I'm not home, and my brother's not home, which means there's uh, empty apartment not being utilised. <laughs> I'm very sad about it. Yeah, that I, that'll work me if no one's using it. That's kind of why I checked over Christmas. Yeah. He's like, I'll be here. I'm like, sweet, with someone's here. Are you going over Christmas as well? Yeah, I'm going down on this coast. Oh. Sunny Bermagui. If you see me around there, Brad say hi. Bermagui 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 locals. Bum, 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 I think the closest one will be bloody hard. Um... Locals. Chimera <laughs> <laughs> uh, Horus is good, mainly because of the horror stuff. Like the Chimera package. Not even Chimera I like, package. I played the Horus engine in fucking. Uh, in a deck that was like. Horus, make rank eight, do this, do that. Yeah. Fucking hated it. Like us playing the other decks, it is like it's insane. Yeah, it's just, just using it wrong. It turns out. Yeah, using it the way you think you meant to use it, bad. Using it for synchro engine, good. <laughs> I said this from the start that it's actually not a bad synchro engine. Yeah. Like being able to get some level eights to get the big synchros on board is bonkers. Yeah, I would. I really want to make Plague Spreader work with it. But it's just that card back to top of deck can work sometimes. Other times, eh, you yeah. run out of cards fast in this deck. Uh, unless if you play the patchwork engine. So it, it only this morning, like I didn't do that many danger combos. I was practicing the the chimera combos, and I had like, oh, why does no one play danger in this? Because it works pretty well with the Horus. It doesn't. No, because it's sense, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. 
So lucky I didn't turn up. Lucky I read my cards this morning. Mm, reading one is more fundamental. Time. Yeah. So I read one more time. Went, oh God. Keep reading his cards this morning. Like, they can't be this good. Yeah. Yeah. But patchwork worked all right, and it's just good. It's a it's a fun little deck. I don't think it's going to be. Oh, I mean, it could do something against the chickens. I don't know what they do against the rescue ace though. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, Horace is good. Yeah. Very good. Also, remembering to resolve them, because sometimes, like, well, I had one where I lost my Sark, and I just went, oh, yeah, whatever. I went, oh, wait, I could have reserved that, resolved the happy in response to that. Well, not in response, on resolution to that. And it's like, well, mm. so I've got to get better at timing. But what do you do? How about yours, Jay? Practice. Um, so yeah, Tuesday I also went X1, um, I lost against uh, Vanquish Soul aka Floodgate Turbo and it made me want to kill people, um, but otherwise it was fine. It's funny because it can't out, they can be the only one. Well I can if I see my sides, I didn't see with my the main sides. Deck, no I can't do that. Just have another play you can do. There isn't. Normal summon a hand trap. Go into Nightmare Phoenix. I'm not putting fucking Nightmare Phoenix in my deck. I give him an out. He doesn't take it. It's bad. Also, I do feel like with very little uh, important things looming before next year, I should just try and play some fun stuff. So um, we've got the charity tournament coming up in Two a weeks. few weeks. Um, so that'll obviously be one opportunity, but I need to get some other things going. Like I want to put together the Snack Knights, the Hawkist... Um, mm. some other stuff yeah there's there's some things I want to do I just need to actually sit down and do them which is the tricky part do you have Horus? yeah yeah I bought Horus oh. from the start it's literally been sitting on my dining table since it arrived and has done nothing <laughs> okay okay uh, and then today Good also sick. went X1 um, lost to Leo again fucking same <laughs> the combination of Fucking Druus banishing my Link, which is my recursion, and then sending my Playmaker mm. to summon the fucking uh, Magnemod just ends my life. It kills me so much. I had a moment against him where I got greedy and I put Nightmare Pag Magician in the combo. I'm like, oh, I'll pitch that, bring it back, and do, go, do that. If I just stuck to the plan and brought, I uh, targeted the Earth to special summon from Grave, no, the wind, sorry. Would have been fine, but no, I'm like, no, nah, not major magician target to revive. He's like, oh well, bestial. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Dragons, Those are indeed things. Dragons play bestial, yeah. so I'm like, oh, <laughs> if I had just gone with the wind, I have it here, and I can cut off the bestial play next turn. All right, fuck me, it's bestials. Dark? No, no. Do you think they're going to do anything to him? I hope so. Something needs to happen to dragons because I feel like they're like. They're not in the meta enough for people to like immediately think of them as a threat, but also like they're a good card away from just being fucked. I've just had the realization that today I could have uh, that I can dark the dark charm on my opponent's uh, level seven for evil eye or snake eye. Double stun. Yeah, I can that, and then I can sort of set my own spells from my deck. Okay. No, I don't yeah. Who was playing Devil we'll Star today? Everyone else. There was a time people, when right? I was tossing up, like he nibbed me, and I was tossing up between going into uh, taking his Taurus or his Imseti or his Diablo stuff. Because I summoned back my Imseti. Yeah, the token I'll, I'll, again, I was sitting next to him, I was there. Yeah, so I could have taken his Diablo star and then set the. You could have, but you took Imseti. Instead, I took Imseti and won the game. And then we were confused when it, when, when it got sent to Grave by his card and went to put it in your own graveyard. And you're like, yes. oh, wait, no, that's yours. This is not where this goes. This goes over there. <laughs> Um, yeah, nothing else of particular note. Um, again, had no issues against uh, Centurion because non-targeting pops are OP. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, he added in the uh, Nadi package and it plays real hard into Nibiru. Don't tell Kurt, but we're playing Unending Nightmare now. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay. I cover over my mic, so you're going to need to cover over yours. Oh, my bad. 
Perfect. Secret hidden. Um, the field spell is the choke point, right? I've been asking Ben. I've, I've definitely point. asked you three points. Yeah, it can't point. do anything if you get rid of the field spell, yeah. but also while they have any centurion monsters, you can't get rid of the field spell by destruction. Yeah, but they have to have the monsters. You just not let it get that far. No, no, but it counts them in the spells and traps as having centurion there, monsters. But they're continuous traps. Tra- Correct. But they're continuous traps. Yes. I need the nightmare pop. I need the nightmare pop. Yeah. I need the nightmare pop. Yeah. So you just do all three. I understand this. You just keep popping. Or cosmic. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can pay 3,000 or you can just pay one. Or you can pay three. Yeah, well, you can pay, you just keep playing, and then, paying one and, then, and you can't play. Go, but they're not monsters. Yeah, it doesn't care, apparently. It says, it says they count as continuous traps. Lose I'm aware of this. The I'm aware of this. It's just them changing the way the rules are to suit them at the time, which is unsurprising. Anywho, uh, moving on to some news. We start with Master Duel. There's a lot going on. First off, we have the new Battle Pass. Um, so standard 700 cost. You get the gems back as well as UR points and blah, 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 blah. At level 50, the new mate is Hungry Burger. A bit late. What yeah, do you mean? It is a bit late. It's a ritual. For Master Duel? Yeah. We just had the ritual festival. Yeah, that's fine. They, they, should they, have given this lit- prize in the they literally session. only ju- they should have, but they didn't. They gave us a shitty surround. I think it's because they probably didn't have enough assets to give us a good mate for the pass, so they're just like, ah, I can burger. Besides, everyone's happy for burger, no matter when you get it. Um, at level twenty-five, you get an orange icon frame, which looks there's nice. definitely points where I'm unhappy with burgers. It's two in the morning. There's no time for a burger. No, it's definitely uh, pita and kebab time. I'm going to get dressed up in the full chef's attire tonight when I make my burgers. Do you have a a chef's costume just handy? No. (laughs) He's fine in costume. Oh, also, sorry, I lied. At 50... Level 50, you get the Hungry Burger icon. At 75, you get the Hungry Burger mate. You now have to pay for the battle pass to get the mate. Yes, that is a very important distinction. Yeah, oh. you don't just get the mate for freebies anymore. But also, with the login bonuses that you have, you have the 700 to spend, which I'll get into in a second. Do I have to hit a redeem button to get the mate? If I let, if I yes. let us, if I have to let a season expire. Yes. If you've done this twice, I think I'll punch you. Yes. Do you or do you not have the cross sheet, mate? What's cross sheet? Oh, yes. Die. I, mean, I definitely had it. I got up to like eighty or something. <laughs> I should change my mate. <laughs> Toad's totally awesome. I don't know why you ever had it as Toad. Toad looks so shit. Well, I'm never going to use him anyway. Because... I, I'm stuck with Ash. We. I'm actually so upset with you. She spins and. Wasn't Ash one of the ones we were just given as well? Yeah. Like it was just there yeah. with Rescue Rabbit? Yeah. So okay, we'll get Rescue Ace Hydrant soon. Will we? Surely they do two That's good. Just yeah. a big ass ambulance going. Now No, I want Hydrant over there squirting. Turb's not an ambulance. Isn't that the whole point? Turbulence? Uh, it's turbulence when you're in the plane. Because... But he's not a plane. He is. Ambulance is Doesn't he have like fucking... Those are his arms. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're arms up. are the wings of planes. <laughs> <laughs> it's when fire attacker has... I don't think that was a sentence right. I'm sure it's supposed to be an ambulance, and I've heard several people refer to it as an ambulance. Oh, but get out of here. No way. It's absolutely not a plane. What, no, what do you mean? it's not a plane. It's what happens when you get turbulence. <laughs> <laughs> What's the embodiment of... <laughs> It's the stabilizers, man. They pop out, though. No, that's fucking awful. I think it's yeah, supposed to was... literally be an ambulance. But anyway, moving on. So we're looking at um, So, um... Do you get in that ambulance? You're missing a leg. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. You're getting to the hospital no matter what's in your way. Oh, yeah, or you're going to war. Looks like a... I mean, if you've lost your leg, chances are you're already there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Anywho. I get legless pretty easy. <laughs> IT coming soon. Um, so, a bunch of other stuff happening. They've got a new bundle, the 10 uh, Master Packs, as well as a Triple Tack for, I think it's like 700. I think it's like marginally saving and you get a Ultra card for free. Yep. They're usually not a bad bundle. Um, login, oh sorry, 750. Sorry, still saving, but not quite as cheap as I mentioned. 
Um, we've also got the 25th anniversary login bonus campaign happening at the moment, this new version of it. Yep. Um, so this is how you get uh, the Altart Obelisk, as well as I think it's 700 gems, a couple of packs for uh, the new Winged Dragon of Ra pack, uh, and some other crap. I think it's like an Obelisk icon, which is not the same art as the one that they give you the art for. Or at least it doesn't look like it. But anyway, that's there. Um, so we've also got the new Ra pack, as I mentioned. This one is how you get the alternate art of Winged Dragon of Ra, the movie art, I they think. Had all the, yes. They had all the spells in the end, didn't they? They had the Blaze Cannon. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I remember making them. Yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's got a bunch of the Ra support. Your for some reason and uh, reflex slime and all that um, we've also got the Spriggans and um, Therian pack re-release um, so that's also there um, and then there's another bundle which is the Slifer Sky Dragon Slifer the Sky Dragon field and packs um, so you get the altar copy of Slifer from the movie uh, I think it's like some absurd amount of master packs 25 master packs although they've misspelled it here and it's Masada packs I enjoy that. Do you reckon it was misspelled on the press release or misspelled here? Mm, I'm hoping press release. I'm hoping I can go back and find the original source. Um, and then you the you also get the Slifer field, which is a new asset. Um, looks kind of nice. My biggest concern with this is the cost. It costs real money. Effectively, yeah. It's 2,500 gems. Oh, you're doing 2,500 gems? Not mm. right now, I spent them all getting other stuff. I don't spend my coins unless I have something I want. Yeah, I want I don't even like. Packs. I don't even crack the packs just to get the URs into my collection. Boom, I'm just it. like... <laughs> and like, today I spent <coughs> I spent two ultra rares on Salome Great Helio. So I bought, made two Helio. What, in preparation for the Rescue 8 support, which yeah. may still be months away? Yeah, it was an accident. I was meant to craft one. <laughs> I hate that. So I was like, hmm, I've just lost 20 gems. Yeah, I did the same with, um, I think it was Gisu before it got um, semi-limited. I crafted ah. a second one, forgetting that it was at one. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh, it wasn't ideal. Uh, so we've got some uh, Slifer sleeves and stuff that also go with it. Um, and then, for some reason it's not in this particular thing. Hang on, let me find it. We also have the upcoming ban list. So we did mention last week that there was an initial ban list. Uh, but there will be some other cards added in. Uh, so limited, we have uh, Performer Power Monkey Board, Redox and Tidal, both coming in. Okay. And Zodiac Rapier. Okay. At one. And then to three, Zodiac Barrage. Yeah. Uh, well, but barrage but... to three is a good idea. If only we thought of it sooner. Oh. <laughs> or Norden! Oh, no. <laughs> so, uh, Brian convinced me that he'd unbanned Norden, so I left Norden, and I never wanted Barrage, so I was like, I don't need this. I thought we had Norden. Jake's, Jake's like all high and mighty, he's like, I've been instant fusion and fusion substitute, so they couldn't make Norden. And I was like, I plan on making it Metamorphosis, but continue. <laughs> ah, what can you do? Yeah. Now I don't think I can make Shockmaster, unless I play a generic level 4 extender. Oh no, where or, will you ever find one of those? Or a level one. Hear me out. Oh, I know, but don't. Wait, is Shockmaster a number monster? It is a number monster. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, anywho, um, so we've also got hints of the next packs that are coming out. Um, so one will be uh, the Manadiums, Manadiums, however you want to pronounce it, as well as some more branded stuff. Uh, like uh, Albion the Sanctified Dragon. They haven't confirmed whether we're getting Dispater yes, yes. and Lulu Wulluv. No, we're definitely not getting that. They haven't confirmed if we're getting the new synchros for the branded law. That's not in here. Um, There's other brand stuff there. Surely it's there. Well, you'd think so, but it's not here so far. Um, and then I think one of the other packs is getting updated with those other cards um, to go into it as well. Oh, okay. yeah. God, you feel pretty bitter if you bought heaps of that pack and then they start changing to add more stuff. You're like, oh. Never buy packs, then. <laughs> you never know when they're going to repackage the packs. Yeah, never. you could get something extra cool in it. 
I mean, or not. often not. Yeah. Um, so we've got the Fire King uh, structure deck list. Um, so wait, from Master Jewel? No, 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 no. no We're moving really on like... to normal news. I feel like this? this got announced two weeks ago. Yeah, we've done this twice. I mean, it only came out for me the other day. So anyway. Jake's going to bring the news to you. Uh, they reprinted uh, Droll and Lockbird and Imperm. Yeah, remember they we'll, did. Yeah. We continue on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we've also got news of the Tokyo Dome special uh, event happening in Japan. Oh, God, that'd be the dream. So it's the I think five in the Tokyo first, yeah. <laughs> first weekend of February. It's happening. Um, I'm trying to work out if there's anything. How to fly to Japan in February. How to get off work and manage to afford this. How to get tickets to enter. Raffle? Yes. So in Fast the... Raffle? No. <laughs> um, so in the second day, um, the things that I can work out, so they've got like a bunch of live performances and guest speakers and blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, so we... Blah, 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 blah. I'm a guest speaker. Blah, 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 blah. Do you want? I'm speaking right now. Keynote But you're not a guest. This is your home. <laughs> okay. So... We've got... It just uh, me. <laughs> I haven't told them where you live at... <laughs> oh, there you tell people I live at... <laughs> dum, dum, dum. <laughs> anyway. In the Tokyo Dome. We've got the voice actors of Playmaker versus Revol- uh, Revol- and Revolver versing each other. From... Arc- no, not Arc-V. What's, what's it called? Double Sub. Brains! I don't mind Playmaker's... Um, Double Japanese, Subject. Japanese voice actor. Much better than the English voice actor. I need to watch more of it. It still yeah, doesn't update it on. Needs a strong word there, but yeah. No, I, I, I do. I mean, somehow the I'm English man. voice actor was too manly. <laughs> yeah, he's like like there's Yami Yugi, and then there's that guy. Yeah, he just sounds like a man, like not a character, but a on man. the scale, it's uh, Yuya, Ugh. and then that guy. Fucking Yuya! Oh my god! I, you, like I can't. we, you want a nice like three quarters of the way up this scale? Not here. Definitely not here. You use Japanese Never voice actors like, pretty good too. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Um, so, um, we'll move on to our Discord. Uh, no more news? What? Yeah, it's, it's very yeah, light on Yeah, it is getting that time of the year, isn't it? Yeah. We've got one more YCS, right? Yeah, yeah, we've got YCS God. Bologna happening next week. Oh, look at him go. Um, what do you reckon wins? Um, I'm going to say Rescue Ace. Chimera. Devon. Oh, we're not going to ban list till after that then. Yes. Yeah, more than likely. Or um, on that weekend. I honestly thought it'll be this week. I thought we'll have it announced tonight. Oh, no. oh please the day before. Please the day before. <laughs> Fifteen. No, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> no, they brought in that rule. I want to see it implemented. What rule? The rule where you can only change your deck list after you submitted because there's a ban list coming. Yes. I want to see it happen. Submit my deck list through Neural. And also the fact that like we'd go through our ban list discussions and there was like fuck all news, I'm like, it's coming. <laughs> Registration opened for YCS Sydney. Uh, if you registered and didn't put in the code that's in your Neuron app, huh. Why does that matter? Because how else are you going to submit your deck list? That's what your Neuron KC TGN or whatever is. That's the code in your Neuron app. Well, yeah, you meant to have your Cossy there too. Uh, your Cossy, li- it becomes the same code yeah. if you link your app. Yeah, I can't link my app because my email that it's attached to is dead. Ah, uh, you got hit with a pat? Damn. No, no. Like, I had it set up on an email, which oh, I did okay. myself years ago, but okay. that email then died. Yeah. Okay, so you didn't get hit with the 1-2 pat special? No. Cool. So, I'm currently trying to work through that, but it may I'm take like, me some time. I know my Konami ID and I know my Kossi. Like, well, actually, I don't remember my Konami off by heart now. But the Kossi's easy. Yeah. What are you going to do? Mine's yep. all the same. It'll get sorted. That's the thing, yeah, like... It'd be nice if it was the same. So now I just go... Log on to Neuron, submit that list. Oh yeah, I mean, I've never had a problem. Because you used to be able to log in with your Cossie on, on the database, and then they made you go... No, no, uh, you go by email now. I'm like, oh. And then they give you a separate ID. And I was like, oh, that's I just have them all saved into my phone now, where it's like, email. Nope, that one didn't work. Okay, let's do the one with the Cossie ID. Yep, that one worked. Cool, I'm in. <laughs> Also, I feel like there will be a fail-safe of, like, if there's issues, they will be able to submit deck lists by paper. I'm not guaranteeing this, but I feel like it will be a thing. 
Soldier Boy wouldn't want to submit by paper. It's going to be so good not writing out everything. It's going to be so good. Yeah, I'm I'm glad we finally have Neuron. Is there anything, like anyone who's played with Neuron decklist overseas, let us know if there's any weird catches. I'd be kind of curious. It's not something I've really factored in before. How do you get your pre-registration queen? You just got to turn up and say I'm here, yeah? Yeah, I'd say they'd like confirm that they've received your deck list submission and then give a coin. Okay. Assuming that maybe... I'm just maybe, really <laughs> puzzled by the fact that they're open on Friday. Well, the, from what I remember seeing, I don't remember seeing anything about pre-registration. I remember seeing that they were running events. Well, that's where you've got to pick up your packs as well. You don't pick up your packs you until after packs the tournament starts. Two. Yeah. Well, maybe they'll give us our packs on Friday. Night. Absolutely not. Why not? So they always, every year, say that they're going to run events during the like, pre-order point. Yeah. They never run events because there's only like three judges there and they're like, oh, we're too busy doing the deck list. Maybe they won't be anymore. Maybe we can. Yeah, it's true. Um, circling off uh, YCS. Oh, I feel like Vikings will probably win next week. Hmm? Vikings could win next week. No, they need bonfire. Disregard. Oh, they work without Bonfire. It's a lot nicer. They also work a lot nicer with, like, the Link stuff as well. Yeah. Yeah, Promethean Princess and all that nonsense. Yeah. Well, yeah a long like, way away. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like it's a bit premature. Like, the, it, it'll probably get, like, a couple tops, but I can't see it winning. Yeah. Like, it will catch a lot of people off guard because they probably won't know what they do. They pop. They do do that. And they also have negates. And that's the thing that catches people off guard. The fact that one negate floats into another. Hmm. It's like, oh yeah, I've negated your spell and trap card. Now I have a monster negate. Ah, that's fine. Um, I've negated your monster negate. I now blow up something. Mm -hmm. I now use my back row to XE summon. I have now nuked your board. <laughs> uh, next thing to uh, speak about is that we have received... Um, Oh, rather, we've passed the time frame of submissions for the Megalith Bandless Tourney. Mm. Um, so it'll be happening in less than two weeks' time now. I was going to pre-prepare a graphic and run the numbers on how much we've raised so far, but I don't know. I think it's in like the 790. I think it's like 790. I can pull it up. Ah, it's okay. No, it's a two-second job. It's fine. But I believe it was just a shy of 800. Uh, should, should be 800 nearly, with the Northern. Actually, more than 300, that would be me. I should have checked that night. We're sitting here for three hours. Waiting yeah. for midnight, and, <laughs> and I didn't pick up. I should have gone one more pass and gone. Oh wait, that yep. stuff that I thought had been done wasn't done. So I seven... thought you were already limited it to one. Norton. Yeah. Well, I thought, no, you I, put, I, thought it, I thought you put a bunch of stuff to one that you didn't want at three. It's okay. Yeah, oh, I, I did, there. but Norton wasn't there. Um, Seven hundred ninety-four dollars was raised. Nice. I legalized three FTKs. It's gonna be fun. Which one will I choose? I thought you said you weren't going to play FTKs because they were against the idea of the tournament. Yeah, but then I didn't get to unban all the things I wanted to unban. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm like... So now I have no choice. I have to FTK. Unban Ronin Totem? Pops? It's alright. I also have an FTK planned. Oh, Jake's playing FTK. Damn. Jake, heel turn. Is it heel? No, it's heel. Should well, we have banned Phoenix like, and Cluster Amaryllis? Uh, oh god. Don't think I was that keen for an FTK. Yeah, my FTK is not a burn FTK. I could also just play Xenia. No, you can't. I banned left leg. <laughs> I could also just play Jackpot 7. I, I can do that. I can literally render my deck yeah, to no, be yeah, a 5 card yeah. deck. I 70 limited Jackpot 7. I'll find something. I'm sure you will. It just won't be either of those two things. <laughs> do you have to wait? So the spirit message card has to actively play every single one, doesn't it? Mm. You can't just... Uh, yeah, or, or, like, use, or use the card some, that says. Some of the new support lets you cheat out a copy early, but I think it's like hard ones per turn. So, so I can't just draw all can the spells and be like... Poo, 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 poo. New. Damn. New, 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 new. Um, yeah, but that should be fun. So again, we're having the tournaments on the 17th and 19th of December. Uh, if you are going to be around or want to come down, you're more than welcome. Uh... Ben will hopefully at some point get a graphic together of the most updated bands so yeah. that you're aware. I may well have just inserted over Jake's face during this conversation. <laughs> Perfect. I'm so glad I fixed my hair for this. <laughs> um, but yeah, that should be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. I plan to bring two different decks. One deck will be the FTK day and then another deck will be another oh, deck. Oh yeah, we're doing two days. Yeah, We are doing two days. 
Wait, but the first the ban list isn't active for the first day, is it? It's good for both. Uh huh. Yeah, but on Sunday and Tuesday. Oh yeah, cool, 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 cool. Sorry, I was the I was mixing up with the um the other charity. Yeah, the yeah, other there's another charity. charity event. Event. Yeah. Um, I need I'm to confused by that because I saw like did it have cool prizes though? Ooh, I think it's it? just extra OTS, isn't it? It's... Even though we don't have enough OTS, you get OTS per round win, not per result in result. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like per can that you collect, isn't it? Because you take a can from every person you beat. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't know. That chunky soup was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your rarest soup. <laughs> I've taken your star chips and your candles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, three cans of food equals three OTS packs on whatever one this is. And I was hoping uh, there was going to be. Because I remember them announcing it, and I thought it was meant to have. Well, last year didn't have the ghost trick. Uh. Um, playmat. Wait, why have they got a Ghost Trick Yeti as the, like, mascot for a Christmas charity thing? He hungry. And it's cold. <laughs> Go to yes, Are you yes, saying parents. Ghost Trick Yeti's homeless? Cans, yes. Cans. Have you seen the art? He lives in the Ghost Trick Mansion. Minimum content uh, of 400 outside. mils and an expiration date of at least two months. I'm need to buy some fresh canned food. Yeah, I was hoping I could kind of cheese it and um, use the uh, Jeez, canned man. corn that Lachlan brought to my apartment on New Year's Eve. <laughs> New Year's Eve four still... years ago? <laughs> yeah, it's still in my cupboard. <laughs> I do plan to re-gift that to him at some point. Oh, Very good. God damn it. Do a trip to Minto. Just yeet a can of corn in his <laughs> house. Um, but yeah. That is uh, almost it. We move on to some questions. Uh, so if you weren't aware, we do have the Discord. Uh, feel free to jump in, say hi, ask us questions. Our first question this week uh, da, 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 is from Ragai. What is the most effort you've gone through to get a Yu-Gi-Oh product? He's currently trying to get his pod degree collection from his old address <laughs> in a different state. Oh, God. Oh, that's bad. Damn. It's not great. Um, so fingers crossed that goes well for you. Yeah. Um, my answer to this is when I was trying to finish Max Rarity Mermals, uh, finding the last uh, few like secret Megalos and Ultra Dragoons uh, in the right print was real hard. And what I ended up having to do was uh, buy some dudes like Mermail Core and his uh, Spellground Mermail mat from the UK and get it shipped over here. It had some cool stuff in it at the time. Like, I think it came with some other shit that was cool. I, I can't remember exactly what it was, but no like it had, like I basically just wanted two cards from it, but I had to buy effectively 80% of a deck and a mat to I, get what I wanted. <laughs> I insist that at one point I bought a secret Mullen Glacier. I don't know where it is. I just don't know. I have one at one point, it's long gone too. I may still have my secret. Also, what happened to playing Gen X Undying? Uh, Neptibis replaced it. Yeah, okay. Because Neptibis uh, sent the same card, but added a better card. Because I was going through my shit, and I was like, Oh yeah, I bought Astral Pack Undyings. Why do I not put this in Mermel? <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't really played. I mean, some people were still playing it, and they were playing like one or two copies of Allure of Darkness, because then you could like use that for more draws to get rid of the controller. Yeah. But outside of that, it was not good. What is the furthest I've gone to to try and get something? I don't feel like I've put in that much effort to get some of your stuff. Like, probably the biggest effort that I put in was when I was in Tokyo when I did the seven Haichu promos. Have you still got Haichu? Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah that the... shelf is still, like, full. Hell yeah. I left a, <laughs> I left a pack of Haichu at my mate's place. <laughs> I'm like, is oh, that what you do now when you visit places, you just leave a you pack of Haichu? Yeah, except, except of corn. It's my calling card. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Because that was an ordeal. And I'm still impressed that I found an Dark Magician. That guy working I mean, yeah, at 7-Eleven was like, how the fuck did you get here? But... <laughs> I found the Dark Magician. Yeah, because the random security person let you break into the building. He did let me break into a building. I didn't break in. He said, Elevate you're looking for is over there. And I was like, okay. You know what, I don't know what, but I that's what you're looking I for. I don't know here, but sure. 
Oh, shit. Uh, there's a very good chance my magical scientist doesn't arrive. I thought oh, they'd sent them. I ordered these two weeks ago, and they just... I got the sent notification then. Where are they coming from? I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't possibly reopen nah, my local, phone. it's local, it's local. Oh, you're fine. Oh, that should be fine. Well, as, I mean, as local as Queensland can get. Ah, uh, you're still fine. You've got two weeks. It's a long drive. Very I'm, long drive. Uh, last turns. No, not last turn. Last wheel. Uh, uh, does anyone in the Discord... Have you done the road trip to YCS? Let me know. That's a that's hectic from Brisbane to Sydney. That's a that's a sizable trip. It's I mean, it's the a little same bit as, harder than it, Melbourne. It's the same as Sydney to Melbourne. No, it's, oh, well, Sydney to Melbourne, not Wollongong to Melbourne. No, that went we were, we went way longer. It's like eight hours to Melbourne. Yeah, that's. So I'm told 10, that's 10 all it is to. No, I swear. No, apparently, I swear. Someone told me the other day it's only about also you eight lose, hours. Also, you lose the hour or gain the hour as well. Yeah, no, but it's still the same travel time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> complaining to me about driving long distances. Oh, truck driver Ben has entered the chat. The drive to Orange is better, I reckon. They've got no, they've got no like truck stop. There's not enough truck stops. The only thing I don't like about the drive to Orange is having to go through the Blue Mountains. Yeah. That every time I get to the Blue Mountains, but this you got to go through Newcastle. This is agonizing. Why is it bad in the Blue Mountains? So fucking slow. Yeah. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like it drops to like sixty. Oh, it's like that's unfortunate. Rah. And they've just Damn pulled the funding you. for the tunnel. Damn you, bureaucrats, hating us getting to Orange once a year. I just want to get to <laughs> Orange <laughs> once <laughs> faster. <laughs> this year we've been twice. Next year we might not go at all. Why not? Because oh, they might do the regional in like the year after. Huh. That's unfortunate. One day I'll get to Orange. Um, again, next Sad question day. is from Rye <laughs> Guy. Um, how do you decide what little intro clips to each podcast it's going to be? Uh, whether or not I remember that something's funny. Uh, also, if I have the time. That's literally it. It's pretty much the deciding factor. Also, it probably should be an intro, but yeah, we never do it. What's this? Nothing. <laughs> Um, actually, speaking of that, um, if you join the Discord in the general chat, Bragg has posted um, the uh, best of link for the year. Um, that's a like Google Doc yep. thing, if you can fill that out. But also, if you could message us or put in the Discord um, timestamps or episodes of your favourite clips. Yeah, if there was a favourite moment of yours that made you laugh, I very much appreciate. Because like, I know what I found funny, and I can put it in there, but if you found something funny that I it's gone over my head or I haven't, you know, been in the room to see it. Um, yeah. So yeah. If, some, if there was a moment that you thought was funny from this year, hit us up with a time code. Or even just say it, I'll find it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that. And also we're voting on best product, best deck and best card of the year. Yeah. Have we got many submissions outside of me in 6 r 6 <laughs> Yeah, there's, there was one more. I didn't see the link go up, so I should probably... I know, you're not on Discord enough. I'm not sure no. if, we could, if I should do ongoing commentary of what's been voted for. And don't what. do ongoing nah, commentary. Don't, no. don't influence people. Yeah. It's going to be a surprise. Yeah. Bragg wants to be the dude at the front of the voting information handing out people things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, a third question amazing from 6 i 6 Amazing defenders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, given a top tier deck in a format and perfect knowledge for how to run that deck, do you feel like you could win a YCS in any format? Or does it still come down to RNGs? I'd fuck it up. <laughs> I'd I, fuck it up. I'd definitely do better than I would. But whether I would win, I don't know. I Top, always fuck it up. I would feel confident topping if I had that level of knowledge. I just don't have the time to invest to get that level of knowledge. Yep. And I'd fuck it up. And also, like, the only practical way you can do testing, because our locals is, like, very narrow in what they want to play, uh, so the only practical ways of doing any testing is, A, go to other locals, which I simply don't have time for, and playing on Yu-Gi-Oh! Twitter, which is for the worst humans imaginable. I have okay, no I interest. Like, when we Yu-Gi-Oh! had... Twitter. You meant playing with his friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, playing yeah. with friends. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just... I cannot. It's... Simply not worth When you had to over COVID, sure. I if you have a choice, second of it. awful. It's just not the same without having the physical cards in front of me. 
Like, I don't enjoy the game when I don't physically have things in front of me that I'm like, yeah. Ben's a materialistic bitch. I am. I am. I just forget it. Like, if that was all presented, I would just forget. Like, or I would throw away... Like, I would throw away, like, a play to go for a riskier play because I would end up with more advantage and be safer than the stock standard one. It's a thing. I'll whiff. 100%. I don't even... I even make day two with the best deck in knowledge now. No, nah, I reckon you'd be alright. This brain is mush. Yeah, but, like, if you had that knowledge, it's not saying that you, like... like oh, so the, and the knowledge is locked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I not... Yeah. So I'm not... Uh, locked well, we, I, I'm not open to being, you know, forgot. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Or self-sabotage. It's not part of the question. We're going to ask it anyway. If there was a format that you could choose that you had that knowledge in, what format would you have picked? <laughs> Why 2017, though? Because I'm like, Paleo. Yeah. Um, I was actually... I mean, I was alright at Paleo, I reckon. But... Just not forgetting to activate my traps is why I'm... <laughs> As that kind of time set developed... Like, my skill level in Yu-Gi-Oh! Very much, like, skyrocketed through 2017. Like, 20, the year of 2017 was, like, shit kick a bend to, like, winning every locals, and I just went... <laughs> and it's a case of, like, around this point is when I was like, Oh, I can play Paleo in Zoo format, and that works really well. But around here is when my CS was. So, yeah. Maybe 2016. Because I had, I mean, 100% have having, or having a second copy of the deck. And knowing that Cosmo has absolutely no side potential. Because <clears throat> going into that, my like, Cosmo's untested. We are so close to the OCG at the time that it's like, oh. No, Cosmo's untested. It could sneak through and win. It couldn't. So knowing 100% that's not a chance, so I would stay with Pe um, Pepe. And then, uh, Pe I mean, I won the next couple of locals with Pepe after that, so... Bam! So maybe doing that one, just to get the top out of the way, but... <laughs> the top out of the way. Yeah. Get multiple tops. No, just one will do. I would just like one. to top a YCS at some point. Yeah. I'm not in a rush. I don't think my ship sailed. No. Oh, right. there's still plenty of time for everybody. Like, the average age, age of Yu-Gi-Oh players is just increasing, so... Yeah. Nobody knew coming. <laughs> At what point do I become washed? It's not now. No. I, I mean, two two years I might be washed. <laughs> two or three. No, nah, but even, even I, as... Not even a proper washed, because you had to be dirty to begin with. But... I, I mean, I still could. You get to a point where... It, it would be rare at the top. It would be hard at the top. But you can still top. You got this. You got plenty of... There's plenty of time. We can Look at this. us convincing we, him. We can do this, Ben. I say we. I, me too. <laughs> me. <laughs> Don't know if it'll be this format, though. Old dogs. Yeah. <laughs> this has really gotten to you, hasn't it? The other thing is too... <laughs> see, the other thing is too, right? Every other... Well, not every other country. It's probably a generalisation. But most other countries... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've told you the story yet. No. No, it's fine. It's, it's so that's a, why it's going over my head. It's and a story look... for off the podcast. Ah, fine. Yeah. So the issue I take with this, like the YCS topping thing, is we only have one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like this very narrow time of year where, generally speaking, the format's either dying or just like people have no fucking interest in it. So like. Dying like that. This is when you like can do your top, and yeah. people know exactly what's happening in the format. There's no sneaky decks that come in, generally speaking, and it's like you do it then, and then the format's dead, and then you move on. I count Nats tops as tops though, and I count I, I I say we get three. I count a Nats top and I she's top as a top. Oh yeah, I would count those as premier tops, but like in like specifically speaking, topping up YCS, we only get one. All yeah. those other countries also get their own states or nationals and yeah, like yeah. overall thing that's an us problem though isn't it so like i would love to travel and do it but i just there's just no time 
and the expense of it. And then the language barrier. Like that's why with Pokemon, like I travel with Pokemon because it's it's just a phone app. You can't fuck it up in different languages. So that's why I felt comfortable traveling for it. But with Yu Gi Oh, I just I as soon as I go to Europe and it's like oh god. Now surely there's well, heaps of the the German YC uh, like the remote YCS that was daunting. Yeah. No, oh, it was fine. No, I versed a, a French dude and it was tricky, and a German dude that was tricky. I did not. Who knows? My opponents could have been speaking different languages, but it was four in the morning. I wasn't acknowledging anything my opponents were saying. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. When your opponent summons Bahamut Shark, summons Totally Awesome in a format where that shouldn't be possible, at three in the morning, you're just like, <laughs> how the fuck did I get here? French chairs in the chat. Chairs in the chat! <laughs> So, last question comes to us from Ragai. Do you have any favourite players at the moment? Uh, no. Well, I think Jesse Cotton's kind of always up there. Favourite, though. Oh. I'm always a fan of watching Josh Wishmet play. He's I don't watch more. him play enough. We go back and watch old Josh Wishmet matches. Yeah, I don't do that. I just want to watch that man normal summon swap from. Effect send. Um, I mean, yeah, Jesse Cotton's kind of always up there. Um, I also like, I mean, not that he's been playing the TCG much until recently, but um, Distant Coder, aka Kevin. Um, I enjoy him. He's yeah, knowledgeable. How? The reason he got banned. I mean, some? everyone has something going for them. He's a bit of an arsehole. Yeah, in the bits I see of his content, it's fine. I've not met him face to face, so I can't really comment on it. Okay. Well, I mean, we haven't met Jerome face to face, and we'll still. We know everything we need to know about that bastard. Well, we'll probe Jerome last week, though. We're still okay with Jerome. You can be. Still okay with Jerome. Once, once I'm flicked onto anger, there is no off switch. We have a YCS that got announced. It's okay. So you see Jerome anything. in the street, what do you do? Punch. Really? I saw so, hey, Jerome. I, I saw Pokemon Goes Jerome. Um well what I, who I thought was. I'm like, I don't know how to react to this. They've done a lot of damage. But also you don't deserve to be punished for ruining a mobile app. Or do you? He does. You just gonna start wailing on Jerome? Jokingly, of course. Jokingly. <laughs> That doesn't even work as a, uh, what do you call it? We can still get banned for that. Doesn't. No. What's he can me, Eddie? Doesn't know. Nope. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't, you can't ban me. I don't have an email. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Email me? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, also on the YCS entry thing, mm -hmm. you had to enter in your YouTube URL. You didn't have to. If you had, I didn't, I didn't see the form. I didn't see that field to enter it, so I didn't. But I entered mine. Ah. I also logged onto the Konami website and gave them my home address, just in case they want to send me something. Just in case, Jerome. Just in case. Well, you reckon that's the make or break as to whether you get Maybe. boxes? Maybe. They in just case. didn't know where to send them. They just didn't know where. Imagine to send it them. being that simple, and you just had all this floodgate of product being open to you. Well, no, well, he didn't have a form to enter his every name. Every set for the last two years. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been sitting at the post office waiting for you to collect it. Did Rufio really go to a tournament, though, to get that? I don't fucking know. How that guy gets anything, I'm like... Ugh. It's just because his YouTube channel's got EO at the end of it. Hey. You should talk about Warhammer. Maybe you'll get new gear product. I do like the Blood Angels. I have a Dante around that little page. And, and on I that have, bombshell. I have no book. Anyway, uh, that will conclude <laughs> us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. Oh, um, quickly on that point too, thank you very much for everyone who um, posted their uh, Spotify wrap-up thing yeah. of us in the Discord. Um, big shout out to you guys. Uh, love the support. Um, if you are watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe. At some point in my life, before I die, I would love to see that number at 1,000. 
can't see it happening the way things are going, but would really like to. It's on the way up. Is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's only grown, been green recently. Okay. Green with a bit of red, like green. Oh, it goes. Yeah. All of these octics are one side. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, got it. Thank it's you. okay. We've got to listen to him. He knows what he's doing. No, I don't, I don't post deck profiles no more. My sub count just goes. I might deck profile my deck today. Why not? Second yeah. place locals, I only played two matches. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so um, again, thank you to uh, those that posted their Spotify wrap ups. Um, feel free to jump into our Discord, uh, and yeah, we will we'll catch you all next week. Peace.